Turiya Samadhi, that state, Saundariya Lehari, Tirpura Sundari, that's the abode of mother. So that is the relationship. Turiya is the abode of mother from where she watches all three states, sleeping, dreaming, waking. So in enlightenment, on the path of enlightenment, you attain Turiya. But the devotee says, with her grace you can easily attain Turiya because it is her abode. Turiya is abode. That's why she is called Tirpura Sundari. Pur means city. There are three cities, waking, dreaming and sleeping. You are citizen of three cities and she is citizen of four cities. The fourth one is Turiya. So that is a relationship. So where does Samadhi? Turiya, if you have attained some Turiya, you have gone beyond Samadhi. Yes. In Samadhi, you attain a state of equilibrium, tranquility. Here you go beyond the state which is called yes, which is called sleepless sleep. You are in deep sleep, yet you are fully awake. That is the state in which. Yes. The divine, divine mother related to the Lord within. Divine Mother related to? To the Lord within. Virtually they are one and the same. There are two aspects of the Lord. One is silent aspect, dormant aspect, another is expressive aspect. That creative aspect is called Mother, that silent aspect is called Father of the universe. One is called Shiva, another is called Shakti. Without Shakti, nothing can be created. This universe was directly created by Shakti. You see, to source is Shiva. But Shiva without Shakti's help cannot create the universe. One is unmanifested power, another is manifestation. That which manifests is called Shakti. That which remains in unmanifested form, though it is still there, is called self-existent power. That is Shiva. And which manifests itself, that is called Shakti. This fine discrimination is there. Swamiji, would you elaborate a little bit on what you stated yesterday about that dark area within I'm the going to. I am going to after this question. Yes? Sir, uh, what does the mind do in sleep? Does it just run around? <laughs> no. Sleep means where there is no content in the mind. Then that is called sleep. When thoughts are not active, they don't go to their chamber, conscious mind. They don't use their avenues, their employees, senses. During that time you are in deep sleep. The moment there is some content in the mind that is not sleep, it turns to dream. And when you con your mind contacts your uses your senses, the employee, then it's called waking state. But there is a state beyond waking, dreaming and sleeping, that's called Turiya, state beyond. You see. In which you are on the top of the mountain, seeing above, down, below, here, there and everywhere that Turiya state, that kingdom 
is called kingdom of beauty, where there lies Mother Divine, Shakti, the power of powers. Yes? Can you define bliss? I am eating candy. I cannot define the sweetness. No writer can define. You will have to eat the candy, so this is beyond description, definition. I'm not clear on the questions that I should be asking myself. Then don't ask. In that, <laughs> in the internal dialogue that he wants to do, one of the questions I should be asking during that internal dialogue mm. towards the internal dialogue. You should first ask. The internal dialogue has a first question, Go home, who am I? First. Am I body alone, which is subject to change, death and decay? Am I born at the mercy of the matter? Am I just a heap or lump, a miserable heap and lump of matter? Is there anything beyond that? First you analyze that body, your greatest friend to whom you depend so much, expect so much from the body, waste so much time and energy, devote so much time and energy. You, you, you know it, is, it changes, you see, and it goes to decay. Now, I am a breathing being too. Suppose I don't see breathing, then can I live? No, a body cannot be retained. So as I am physical being, I am a breathing being too. Then I think, I am a thinking being too. It's beyond my breath. Then I reason, the finest part of reasoning, thinking, I reason. By discriminating what is right and what is wrong. This process is called dialogue. Then, how am I thinking? Is my mind everything? All the aspects of my internal states? No. So I am beyond this. Am I affected by my mind? Yes because I identify myself with my mind. My, my mind is identifying itself with the objects of the world, that's why it is unhappy. You see. The more, the, when you understand that you are full of bliss, peace and happiness, that's your nature, then you no more identify yourself with your mind. This dialogue will bring awareness. Now you have become aware that there is something that is beyond the mire of delusion created by your mind. What is that? How to reach there? You will have to somehow or other have compromise with your body. So some people say with by having good health, and at the same time training your body, learning to be still and comfortable, and then say having serene breath, then having, say having mental dialogue. Who my mind? Why are you not listening? <laughs> 